Miss Ariel here and you clicked on the craft box. And this week we are going to make not only a lion, but also a lamb. Now how sweet. Now when you make yours, make sure to put your ears a little bit lower than Miss Ariel because mine looks a little bit like a rabbit, okay? <laughs> so since in March we say, in like a lion, out like a lamb to welcome spring and get rid of winter, get rid of winter. And that's what we're going to make this week. So I am going to show you how to make our lion and whoop, our lamb. <laughs> okay. So in your bag for this week's craft, of course you have a plate. Now this we're going to use as a double sided plate. So we're going to make two crafts in one. So this side's going to be our lion because we come into March like a lion and the white side will be our lamb. So we go out of March as a lamb. And so it'll be black string and yellow string. You'll have a nose. You'll have your other nose for the lion. You'll have your googly eyes. You'll have your cotton balls and your ears for the lamb. Whew. It's a lot for a craft, huh? So what we're gonna do first is our lion side, so the orange side, and we're gonna glue our googly eyes so our lion has eyeballs. So as you know, somewhere in the center of your plate, that way your eyes are even and so he can see. And you can use, of course, any glue that you like. Today I'm gonna use a disappearing purple. Iconic, I know. That way, the string is a little bit easier to glue. But if you have Elmer's glue at home, you could even use tape if you really wanted to. Or if you have a hot glue gun, but you have to get help from mom and dad. Or help a sibling. And so, ta-da! Your googly eyes. And then we're going to glue our pom-pom down. That way, our lion has a nose. And I find it a little bit easier to put the glue on the plate first and then press down the nose on the plate. So you hold your plate and press down. That way it can dry. It'll be very cute. So this is so far what our lion's gonna look like. And then of course, lions have whiskers just like cats, right? And so that's what our black strings are for. So what we'll do, so normally, you know, there's there's much more, a uh, lot more whiskers on a lion. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna put three whiskers on each side of our nose so they'll lay glued out like this. So I'm gonna put some glue on my plate and show you what I mean. So just like a cat, you wanna make sure the whiskers are fairly close to your nose so it looks like they go together. And then you're gonna tap it down onto you're lying, so, ooh. <laughs> so then there'll be another one here and another one here, and then we're gonna put three more on the other side of our lion's face, okay? Really cute. Now you can put your whiskers where, oh, oh my goodness. So just like we've just saw, make sure to put plenty of glue for your lion or else he's gonna lose an eye. Oh my goodness. Let's try this again. Here we go. <laughs> so you might want to put your whisker, bottom whiskers a little bit higher up than Miss Ariel, but this is why this craft's fun. So then we'll have this and then we're gonna put our mouth and our two eyebrows because of course we're upset, we're angry. It's cold outside, okay? So I'm gonna make mine really upset. He's gonna be super angry. And so what I'm gonna do, cause this one's pretty long, is just fold it upward instead of having two separate pieces cut in half. So that way when you tap, 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 and make them look fab, his eyebrow looks like this. <laughs> and then we're gonna make a frowny face to put for his mouth right here. Hmm? Cause he's always roaring all the time. And we're gonna do the same thing with our string. If you have a scissors at home, you're more than welcome to cut them in half, but I'm gonna glue it straight down like an upside down U. But she's upset. He's an upset lion. 
And of course, make sure that you have plenty of glue. Oops, as I'm rolling my glue stick around. Ta-da! <laughs> now this is gonna be a fun craft for you guys to do at home. And then of course, lions have manes, right? So what we have to do is put our yellow string all around the edge of our plate. So you can put it over the whiskers, you can put it under the whiskers. I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue on the outside of my plate in a big circle and just put my yellow string everywhere. And ta-da! <laughs> now this is a fun craft, so I hope you had fun with this side. So now we're gonna get started on our second side, okay? Okay, for the second part of our craft, we're going to now make our lamb. So of course we need eyeballs, right? So same thing like we did with our lion. We're gonna put some glue on the back of your plate and then we're going to put our eyeballs in the center where we put our glue and make sure, like we saw a little bit earlier, that you have plenty of glue or else your eyeballs will fall off like Miss Ariel's. <laughs> and ta-da! So of course, eyeballs. We need a nose now, right? For our little lamb. So you'll take your nose and you can either put the glue on the paper or you can always put it on your plate. I'm gonna put it on the plate because I think that'll be easier for me but you are at home, can do whatever you like. So, of course, since I'm using Disappearing Purple, you can see the purple where I put the glue, but it will disappear, so you don't have to worry about it looking purple under your pink cute little nose, okay? And so, for your ears, there's a few ways you can do this. One, you can either put your pink inner ear on your white inner ear and glue it like this and then glue it onto your plate or glue the white part of your ear onto the plate and then your inner ear but I'm gonna make it a little bit easier and put the pink inner ear on the white part that way it's a little bit easier for me since I have quite a lot of glue on my plate so far so then your ears will look a little something like this and when we put our ears on our plate make sure to put a bunch of glue here under it under the pink inner ear that way when we put it behind our plate you'll be able to see it a little bit or you can also glue it like this on your plate as well Actually, you might want to do it that way. That way you can cover up your cotton balls that way. So I'm going to put some glue on the back side of my ear. Oh, I'm dropping my lion and my lamb. And make sure that you have plenty of glue. So I don't have enough glue on mine. So you might want to put some glue. See, I have glue on my plate. Put some glue on your plate. Oops, there is a lot of glue on there. And make sure that you get it all in the cracks and everywhere so nothing falls off. And then you'll place your ear just like so. That way, oops. You have the ears like this. And then, of course, we have to, have to, have to, have a bunch of cotton balls on our plate. And so that's the last part of it, is gluing a bunch of cotton balls everywhere, around the face, on the edge of the plate. Make sure that your lamb is not bald. It would look pretty funny, huh? But I think he would get awfully chilly, don't you? I would. And you can use Elmer's glue. You could use tape if you have tape at home. I'm going to use a glue stick and make sure that I have a bunch of glue on my lamb. And make sure to get the edge of the plate, the inside of the plate, 
That way, your glue might look a little something like this. <laughs> it's a lot of glue, huh? And then we're gonna take our cotton balls and we're just gonna put cotton balls everywhere. And you can spread out your cotton balls a little bit. I think this will help uh, maximize your cotton balls. Ta-da! <laughs> so one side we have our lamb and the other side our lion, rawr! <laughs> so we're in like a lion and we're out like a lamb. How cute. So that was our craft this week. It was a long craft, huh? It was pretty intense. But I hope that you like this craft and I hope that you click around and see what else you can find.